would you feel if you could skip the entire build a $10,000 custom website process and just jump right into making sales to your business using a free social media platform? The answer is obvious. You'd feel great, but too many business owners spend a ton of money and a ton of time building a website before they start selling. The truth is today, Instagram is an amazing tool for business. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can sell more on Instagram, whether it's your coaching, your services, or your products, even if you don't have a website or a funnel. First, you want to treat the upper half of your Instagram profile, like the landing page view of your homepage. So it should scream at the person that you are targeting. It should be super clear who you help and how. So the very first thing you want to do is make sure that your username is your brand name or as close to your business name as possible. In the name field of your profile, you want to put in keywords that your target person is searching for on social media. And then in your bio, the very first line, you want it to say who you help and how. The second line is why you, what makes you unique and different above all your competitors. And the third line is a unique call to action as to what's in it for them to click the link below your bio. If you nail all this key messaging that I just covered, you're going to make sure that the moment someone lands on your profile, they're going to know whether you're perfect for them or not. And that's what you want. You don't need to attract every single follower to your profile. You just need the right followers for your business. So now that your profile is screaming at your target person, now you need to attract them to your profile through your content. And this is the real meat to the potatoes on how you sell on Instagram. Back in the day, I used to teach business owners that you should create Instagram stories and save them to your profile as highlights and treat the highlight bubbles as the pages of your website. So you can have an about me, a services page, case study, a contact me page. That strategy still works, but today there is an even better content format that can still get that same information across. And people are actually going to this content first before highlights. More specifically, I'm talking about pinned reels that stay at the top of your profile. So there are three reels that I recommend you make and pin to the top of your profile. And this is the navigation menu, so to speak, of your website, your Instagram website. Your very first reel should be an introduction of yourself. And ideally you include who you help and how. Now you don't have to go into details here, but I have some examples. So maybe you'll get some inspiration from these. Here's mine. And in this reel, I'm directing people to the caption to meet. And this is where we really go into the details of who I am, my background and who I help. And then I encourage people to meet me in the comments. So this took me about five minutes to make, but it can be this simple. Here's another example. This is my friend Louise. So she took some B-roll and added some text on top of her B-roll instead of the caption like I did. Now, if we go to her caption, she keeps her caption really short and sweet, but she's still inviting people to have a conversation and get to know her. And if we go over to Louise's profile, we can see that this is pinned right to the top. So see how there's that little pin icon. That means that this is pinned right to the top. So even though it was published three, four months ago, it's always going to live at the top of her profile. Here's another example. So you can see three pinned reels right at the top. And if I hit the the first one, this is purely an introduction reel. Hi, I'm Susan Hyatt. I'm a life coach and there's a ton of personality. You get a real sense of what Susan is like as a life coach. And then we also have in the caption, you know, an invite to meet Susan and connect and chat in the comments. There's so many different ways you can introduce yourself, but the key is this is going to be the first stop where someone is going to start on your profile, on your journey so that they can get to know you and see, are you the right person for them or not? This second type of reel that you want to pin to the top of your profile. Honestly, not enough people are doing this one, myself included. It was a little trickier to find this one, but I did find on Talk and Sleep's profile right at the top. You can see a pinned reel that says you want to work with me. So there's a headline, there's text. I can see that it's really clear. When I tap into this, I can see Valerie is showing her services or offers right behind her using the green screen effect. And then the caption sticker is allowing me to read what she's saying as well. And then if we go into the caption, it's even more clear of what her services are based on, you know, the age of your child. This type of reel might not get a ton of engagement, but that's not the point here. The point is, especially if you don't have a website, make it really, really simple for people to understand how they can hire you, how they can work with you. So it can be this simple using a green screen effect. 
and just make sure that you are driving people to the hint is in her caption. But before we get into that, let me show you the third type of reel that you should be making and pinning to the top of your profile. Again, not enough people are making this and I'm also guilty of this because what I'm talking about is client or student results and testimonials. Oftentimes I just share these as Instagram stories and then they disappear after 24 hours. But if you really want to show your new visitors on your profile why you're different and the kind of results you can help people get, I highly recommend making a reel where you highlight the results and testimonials of your clients. So here's a profile that has three pinned posts right at the top. But when I go to their reels feed, there are even more pinned posts there. So this is where this account, Sarah, is keeping her testimonials. So there is a client testimonial here where the client is talking on camera. And there's also this one. I love this one because Sarah is introducing it. We know Sarah, we follow Sarah. So Sarah is saying, I've had this client work with me for 10 weeks. The growth is huge. So she's already introducing and kind of hooking us in. And here she's showing the before and soon she's going to tell the story of the after. So this kind of reel does take a little bit more work, but this is an amazing case study for her to have. She's showing visually the results that her client got in just 10 weeks of working with her. So if we look at the caption here, she gives a little breakdown of what her client did. And then she also includes a call to action for someone who's seen this to take the next steps. One thing I want to reiterate here is you have multiple places to pin posts. So here on Sarah's profile, these aren't reels. These are image based posts that are included right at the top of her profile. But then on her reels feed, she has even more pinned posts. So there are five pinned options right there. So make sure that you're creating content that you are going to pin and make sure it's really good content, meaning it introduces people to who you are. It makes it clear how you can help them. And there are some wins and testimonials that they could get inspired by. Now notice that a lot of the captions in those pinned reels that we looked at were driving viewers to message them privately in the DMs. Why is this? Well, we know from the years of Instagram developing as it's become more of a business marketing tool, we know that the DMs are amazing for sales. The DMs are where those one-on-one -on -one conversations happen and it's where people who are considering your offer or are maybe on the fence, it's where they wanna reach out and have a connection to you and make sure you're a real person or you're a real business and that you can actually help them. So yes, the DMs are something that you should not ignore because sales are in the DMs. They're literally waiting there for you. But a lot of accounts have trouble generating DMs from interested leads. So one tool that has really helped me in my business for the last two years is called ManyChat. This is a software that is connected to my Instagram account and it runs 24 seven in the background without me so that whenever someone comments a keyword that I give them in my caption, whether I'm at work, whether I'm sleeping, it doesn't matter. The software is going to fire off and reply to their comment. It's going to send them a DM with the information that they are seeking from my post. It's kind of amazing or magic, should I say. Maybe you've seen DM automation increase more and more in your industry. Whenever you see posts that are saying, comment keyword and I'll send you X, Y, Z. Generally, that means they are using this ManyChat software to fire off their DMs. Now, if you don't use ManyChat, that's also okay. You can still use the same strategy where you invite your viewers to comment a keyword and you can manually follow up and send them a DM. I truly believe this is not a spammy marketing tactic whatsoever because when someone comments your keyword, that is them consenting to you sending them a message with the information that they're looking for. It could be a link to your YouTube video, your blog post, your freebie, your sales page, your call booking tool. But generally you make it clear in your caption what they're going to get once they comment your keyword. One major caveat here using a tool like ManyChat is not a banned software. So it's not going to get your Instagram account banned. I've been on Instagram for over 10 years now and I remember the automation software of 2016 that used to get accounts banned. This is not the same thing. ManyChat is a verified partner of Meta, the owner of Instagram. So connecting ManyChat to your account to run these automated DM conversations will not penalize your account. So to recap so far, we've got your three pinned reels to the top of your profile. When people view them or they read your caption, they are going to see a call to action to comment a keyword. Once they comment that keyword, a DM is going to fire off and that's going to start the nurturing process for them to become a warm person on your profile to 
a lead to eventually a sale in your business. Now, what are the other tools that generate DMs? Because this is our end goal here. DMs are gold for you as a business owner. The answer is Instagram stories. Now, back in the day, Instagram stories were all about sharing the behind the scenes of your business. They were treated kind of like a reality TV show of your business. But today I find the best strategy is a little different. Instagram stories are less about airing out your personal life and more about being strategic to start those conversations to fire off those DM automations. Here's what I mean. First, you can create a single Instagram story, whether it's 15 seconds or 30 seconds that shares information on screen and encourages viewers to reply with your keyword right below your story. I've done this strategy myself and it's an amazing way to generate DMs because you can also connect that beautiful many chat software to your Instagram stories so that when someone comments that keyword or replies to your story with that keyword, that DM automation can fire off. Here's an example of a story where I was getting ready for a master class and in a casual way, I invited people to reply to my story in order to get a last minute seat. Now this single story strategy works great, but what works even better are multi-sequence stories. I'm talking three stories. Literally, that's all you need to post. And here are the three types. The first story is you showing up on camera or sharing an image with text on top. But the point is you want to introduce a fact or you want to highlight a pain point that you know your audience has. And then you want to include an engagement sticker like the poll or the slider sticker so that people can say yes or tell me more. This is so me. Now, the second story that you're going to post right after this first one takes that first problem that you presented in the first story and it goes deeper. It connects to a deeper pain point or it highlights to the viewer that this is a big problem or there's true urgency of why they need to solve this problem in their life today. Now, the third story to this sequence, which you're going to post right after the second is the solution that they're looking for. And in general, that's going to be a link to your blog post, a podcast, a freebie or opt-in that you have, or maybe even a sales page to an offer that you sell. The point is you want to bring it full circle for your viewer and make sure that you are closing that loop for them. And you are offering the solution to that problem that you just dug up for them. Now, the key on this third story is you're going to include a call to action for them to comment your keyword. There's that keyword again, so that they can then get the resource that you're talking about in their DM. They don't have to search the internet. Literally, you're going to send them that link right away. It's magical. You can post a story sequence just like I described. And while it's up for 24 hours, you're going to see a steady stream of DMs coming through as people are replying to your story. And if you have that beautiful software set up, every single reply is going to be getting an immediate response back through your DM automations. There's the big picture. The top of your Instagram profile is like the landing page of your website. All of your pinned reels are like the secondary pages of your website. And every single reel will have a call to action for a view to comment a keyword, which will then allow your automation software to fire off, send them a message and start that nurturing process, even while you're at the park, at dinner or sleeping. Then the next time you're at your desk, you're going to check your DMs. You're going to see if people have questions. You're going to see if people purchased your offer. It's really quite amazing. So if you're interested in going deeper on this DM automation topic that clearly I'm a big fan of, go ahead and watch this video next.